Let's have a look at another interesting thing when we look at conservation of angular momentum. That is, my angular momentum depends, yes, on the angular velocity, but also on the rotational inertia. Now, in the linear case, the linear inertia is the mass, and there is basically nothing that we can do about it with mechanics. Well, we can go to nuclear equations, but uh, if we don't have any nuclear reactions, we can't do anything about the mass. However, for the angular inertia, or the rotation inertia, we can do something about it. Remember, it depends on the location of the mass in regards to the axis of rotation. Now, here I'm sitting on a little chair that has a very good bearing. So initially, I can increase my angular velocity, my final velocity, by adding some torque with my feet. But the moment that I let go with my feet, I should be going at more or less a constant angular velocity. Of course, there's a little bit of friction, so I'm going to slow down the beginning. Well, now, what do you think happens if you st I start rotating with a high rotational inertia? How do I create that, a high rotational inertia? I put my mass as far away from the axis of rotation, which is here, as possible. So I spread them out. And then I tuck them in. And I don't touch the floor anymore, so there is no more torque. So if I tuck my hands in, my rotational inertia goes down. So according to this equation, what do you think happens to my uh, angular velocity? Let's have a look. OK, I'm accelerating with torque. Now I'm letting go, so no more torque. And now I'm putting my hands in and out again. In and out again. So the effect is probably not so big, because I'm not spinning that crazy. Uh, but figure, skater, you, figure skaters, you can watch uh, how this works. So let me do the effect a bit uh, bigger. I'm going to take masses, a lot of mass, and I put them out. I'm going to spin a little bit. And I'm putting them closer to myself. I'm going fast, and I'm going slow. And I can go fast again. Let me spin again. Spin, 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 spin. Now I'm going fast, I'm doing the opposite. If I go out, I should slow down. If I go in, I should get faster again. Let me do this in the other direction to not get too dizzy. So big rotational inertia, low angular velocity. Now I'm putting my inertia small, which gives me a bigger angular velocity. And then at the end, I stop myself by applying some torque from the ground. So unlike conservation of linear momentum, conservation of angular momentum really has a couple of very unexpected things happening. And always think about it as well as it is a vector law.